The Lord has opened an incredible door to reach a new group of people who have, until now, never heard about Jesus. Today, we have the opportunity to reach the people of the strife-ridden Kitkum region of Northern Uganda by sharing, showing, and spreading the good news of Jesus. Because we know the local church is the hope of the world. My name is Pastor Dennis Rubankene. Rubankene means God alone. In fact, where we have reached is only God that can help us. I am pastoring a church called Revival Fountain Ministries, which is found in Kitgum Town in Pandwong Division in Quarters. I was born in Kitgum in uh, 1984, and I've lived in Kitgum all these years. Uh, there are a lot of experiences we have got in Kitgum, so many, especially bad ones. Uh, especially during the time of insurgencies when there was war in northern Uganda. Joseph Kony, a self-appointed messiah of the Lord's Resistance Army, oversaw the rebel group responsible for Africa's longest-running arms conflict. He kidnapped over 30,000 children to strengthen his army, forcing the boys to become soldiers and the girls to become sex slaves. They have been abducting young children young children who could not probably make the right decision. Young children would be trained to, to kill. They would be trained to be intimidated. For example, when they have abducted so many young children, they would bring them in one place and then scare them. They pick one of the people who have been abducted and then they kill in the presence of the rest, telling them, if anybody among you will escape, this is what we will do to, to you. Young girls who have been abducted, they will be taken. There you have no choice. Whichever man you are given to, you just accept. The daily life of a child soldier consisted of more starvation tactics, beatings, patrols, and violent raids in the surrounding villages. Children who did not join this young army of trained killers fled to the bush to live as scavengers, many to never see their families again. Villagers were terrified as evil was the rule of the day. They would kill a human being. They would kill a human being, they would cook a human being, and they would force you to eat that passion. If you don't eat, you might also be killed. So those are some of the things that has happened. Um, uh, sometimes they will force you yourself to kill others. Because of your life, you'll accept to kill another passion. So this is something that has been happening which has caused a lot of trauma in the minds of the people around. A few years have passed, and these children are now young adults, desperate and searching for answers and a new way of life. The entire community remains tragically crippled by trauma and brokenness. So right now there is no war, but the trauma is the one disturbing everybody. So we see a lot of people Drinking too much, just try to, to forget about the past. That, that to them, that is the solution. To forget about the past, to forget about the trauma. To them, they feel like if I drink and I become drunk all the time, that is better. Other people, um, uh, they cannot control their temper. When they begin to recall, some of them commit suicide. That is what is happening. Other people are left uh, without anybody to take care of them, like their children whose parents were killed. They are alone, so when they struggle in life and life becomes hard for them, the only way they feel it is right is just to commit suicide. I mean, life is not easy. Life is not easy to many of them. Government and aid organizations have tried to help, but the issue isn't about humanitarian care. The soul of these people have been lost, and they are without hope. Their only hope is what Jesus can provide, the peace that passes all understanding. The church, the Word of God, just like Apostle Paul said, that the Word of God is the power of God for salvation. So any problem on earth, to me, I feel the Word of God is the best. It can solve all problems because it heals the soul and even the body. So the church is the better solution to me that can help the world get out of the trauma. Because the Word of God has healing power in it, gives hope to the people, and even provide a physical deliverance. Somebody who is sick, somebody who, in fact, the Word of God is the best. We believe, like you, 
where a person is born should not limit their future, a future of eternal life with Jesus. We have many missionary church planters ready to be trained and sent into unreached villages. Churches can be planted on every part. Then I believe people will get the hope, people will come to Christ, and their lives will change. Because I've seen where I've reached, I've seen that it's working, and it's a burden to us to continue doing even more than what we have done. I think that is the only answer that I can give. The church is a hope for the dying world in Northern Uganda. The people of Northern Uganda need your help. We believe God has called us to launch 500 church plants in unreached, broken villages in the area. That may seem like an enormous task, but with partners like you, it is possible. Alongside the proclamation of the word, we are joining with compassionate partners to feed children, empower women, improve healthcare, and teach farming and essential life skills. We are looking for kingdom-minded people like you to help us plant churches and transform communities. Today, you can partner with us by giving for church planting and compassion projects, going with us, and sharing the stories of joyful transformation as we watch God restore life in broken places.